What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here reviewing today, Dishonored 2. Bethesda is a company that's always been full of surprises. They often go silent for years at a time as to what exactly they're working on, but suddenly they release a project that changes how people see an entire genre of gaming. This was certainly the case when we got the first Dishonored back in 2012. With its large maps, crazy combat, and fantastic art style, it quickly gained a huge fan base. Now we're finally getting a sequel, but the question question is, were they able to improve on the magical formula that made the original so interesting? The short answer is yes, and yet this project isn't without its problems. Our story opens 15 years after the events of the last title, showing us an older, more mature Corvo who's dedicated his life to being the personal bodyguard of his daughter, Queen Emily. Being royalty can be a pretty dangerous job because secretly everyone wants you dead. During a special ceremony honoring her late mother, a strange woman shows up with a robot army claiming to be the true heir to the throne. In a matter of minutes, everyone in the castle is slain and we're forced to pick a character to play as. Whoever you choose, the other will be turned to stone and this sets you forward on your path to vengeance. As the lone survivor of this massacre, it's our duty to find a way to overthrow this dark new empress and save the kingdom by any bloody means necessary. This is done by carrying out missions in big, open world levels. You're dropped off by boat in a city and told which target needs to die. From here, you get to make your own path to make sure that happens. Do you run straight for the objective or start by visiting the black market and getting some upgrades? Maybe you encounter a drug dealer in the streets who promises that if you kill his competition, he'll show you a back entrance into your enemy's home. Dishonored 2 is all about choosing your own playstyle and carrying it through to the brutal end. First and foremost, this is a stealth game. While it is possible to pull out your swords and personally rip everyone to shreds one by one, things will go a lot smoother if you stick to the shadows. Both Emily and Corvo are very skilled assassins, but just their talents alone might not be enough for this quest, and that's why it's a good thing we have something else helping us out. This demonic looking man is known as the Outsider and he offers our hero a deal that is hard to resist. By accepting his dark gift, you unlock wondrous and possibly evil magics. This symbol on her hand gives us the power to teleport great distances, turn foes to ash, or even become an invisible monster that can creep through hallways silently. All of these abilities are opened up by finding runes hidden in each map, making another incentive to explore whenever you get a chance. With all these incredible skills, things are slightly easier, and yet, in this mechanical world, only a sharp blade can truly protect you. Levels are filled with winding pathways, tough puzzles, and hundreds of unique enemies that behave very differently, so you need to constantly shift tactics and stay alert. Every area is so large that it can almost be overwhelming, especially when you begin to see all the ways you can accomplish each task. For example, at one point, I needed to break into a building, but all the entrances were heavily guarded. By circling the structure, I realized I could rewire the laser wall to target them instead of me, making it so I could safely slip through. I could also knock out the head overseer standing outside and use his keys to sneak in through the maintenance way. Since I love using my spells to solve problems, I decided to teleport jump from some nearby walls onto a lamppost and eventually onto the roof itself to slip in through a window. It's moments like this that show you how brilliantly free the open level design is. This also brings me to the harshest lesson that Dishonored teaches you. The methods you learn on one map rarely work on another. While staying out of sight and choking enemies works well for a while, you'll eventually find yourself facing ghostly hounds, giant mechanical killing machines that can see in every direction, and powerful witches. This is truly where Dishonored 2 shines the most over its predecessor. Every mission plays completely different, making it so that each time you step off the boat in a new city, you almost feel like you're being transported into a totally new reality. The only problems that hold this back from being close to perfect is that it has some rather annoying technical issues. It took me 16 hours to beat the game with both Emily and Corvo, and during those playthroughs I had three hard crashes and random frame rate issues. There were sections when I'd be sitting on top of a light post planning out how to tackle a particularly complex area and I could see the game just struggling to load everything going on. 
There also doesn't seem to be a New Game Plus feature. For a title that encourages you to go back and check places twice, it feels bizarre that they don't let you go through things with an existing character. Overall, this really is an amazing experience, and despite its tiny flaws, I was blown away by just how great of a sequel this is. Okay, so we've heard some good and some bad, but let's head over to the ratings board and put a big number on it. I am giving Dishonored 2 a 9 out of 10. If you've been dying for some deep story, creepy enemies, and solid sneaking, I highly recommend this game. Just be ready to replay a lot of missions as you learn the best path through a level without being horribly killed. Thanks so much for watching gamers, this has been Dreamcast Guy with another review. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming! Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, maybe check out my last video. Please subscribe, and if you want, share this somewhere with your friends.